Now let's take a look at the equation for acceleration and we'll do some example problems using this equation. Acceleration is change in velocity over time and we can calculate a number for the acceleration by putting in a number here and a number there and dividing. Acceleration will be change in velocity divided by time. So here's an example. A car accelerates from 6 meters per second to 22 meters per second in 4 seconds. Find the car's acceleration. And we'll do this example and the units here will be instructive. So let's take a look at this. The acceleration is going to be the change in velocity divided by the time. And we said the change in velocity is always the final velocity minus the initial velocity and that's divided by the time. So in this case the final velocity is 22 meters per second. The initial velocity is 6 meters per second and the time that it takes to go from 6 to 22 is given as 4 seconds. So we put 4 seconds there. Now 22 minus 6 is 16. So 22 meters per second minus 6 meters per second is 16 meters per second. And we're dividing that by 4 seconds. Now 16 divided by 4, that obviously simplifies to 4. And here we have meters per second divided by seconds. So we have 4 meters per second divided by seconds. Now what does this mean? This means the speed increased by 4 meters per second per second. That's the change in velocity over time. The speed increased 4 meters per second each second. So this mathematically can be written a different way. This can be simplified like this. We can write 4 meters per second squared. And don't get confused by this unit. A square second might seem kind of tricky. We know what a square inch is, for example. A square that's one inch on a side gives us one square inch, and that's a unit for area. But what in the world is a square second? Well, the trick here is don't think of that as a square second. It's not really a square second. It's a meter, this is a meter per second per second, like we see here. This is a change in speed over time. What happens mathematically is this meters per second over second, I'll show you the math here, watch this. Meters per second divided by second. Think of this second right down here as a second over one. So we have one fraction divided by another fraction. Meters per second divided by seconds over one. Well, you might remember from math class that if you divide by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction. So mathematically, we can treat this as meters per second times the reciprocal of this, times one over second. And now we're multiplying two fractions together. And when we multiply two fractions, we multiply the numerators, that's meters times one, just gives us meters up top, and we multiply the denominators. Second times seconds gives us seconds squared on the bottom. So that's how we get algebraically from this to that, just by manipulating the units there the way we would according to the rules of algebra. Don't think of it though, don't get confused by that square second. Just remember that 4 meters per second squared means 4 meters per second per second. This tells us how much the, the velocity changed. It changed by 4 meters per second per second.